Did somebody say Ragbri? take a few minutes to show you uh, one of the ways that you can pack your gear to go on rag bride. Take a deep breath. Uh, super important, make sure your luggage tag is on here, on the bag. On the back of it is a number sequence that matches with your wristband, and you need that in order to pick up your luggage. So let's see what I have inside. First thing, I have my tents. Um, now, RAGBRAI will allow you to put your tent on the outside of your bag if yours is longer or if there's a different way that you want to organize. So make sure if you choose to do that, that it's super secure and it will stay with the bag all day long. So there's my tent and I do have my name on it. This is all of my camp gear. I may just say a bunch of stupid stuff and then you can do whatever you want with it. So then on to the other things in my bag. Um, now I put uh, an outfit for every day of cycling into its own Ziploc bag with the day on it. So this particular one is Sunday. When you look inside the bag, it has everything that I'm gonna need that morning. I've got my shorts, biking shorts. I've got my jersey. This one's from Bikes to You. And I've got a headband, I'm a headband girl and a pair of socks. So I don't even have to think about it. I'm not a good morning person, so I grab my Sunday bag, I put on my Sunday clothes. These will be on my body. This bag will stay in my um, bag. This bag will stay in my bag. And then at night, I'll put the dirty stuff in there so that the stinky stuff isn't mixing up with the clean stuff. Now let's just say you don't have seven pairs of shorts and seven jerseys. Maybe you only have three or four sets. So what I do, so I have it set up where the first two days I get done with RAGBRAI, I know I have to wash a pair of shorts or I have to wash a jersey that I'll be using at the end of the week. So how am I going to wash that, you want to know? Well, I've also got a shower bag. Again, super simple. I know I just grab this bag and head to the shower. Now within there, I have a little bit of detergent. So um, assuming that you're going to have a water source of some, t some, you know, whether it's a sink, an actual shower, you can take five minutes and wash out your shorts. Um, I use the dry so that I don't accidentally get liquid detergent spilled on everything. So I guess while we're in the shower bag, I'll show you, I have flip flops. I have a bag of just the stuff I use when I take a shower. So shampoo, razor, soap, um, and then also toothbrush and toothpaste because I'm, I'll be at my water source. The rest of my um, you know, makeup and all that other stuff, I keep in my gear bag. And then a towel, this is also a pretty slick, this is a dry fit microfiber towel, and it's huge. So I use that obviously for my body, but then also if you wash your shorts, you can roll it up real tight, it takes a lot of moisture out, and it dries really quick. It's usually dry by morning so that you can use it again. Um, I also have a smaller version of it in case uh, you know, we get into some wet weather. So there's my shower bag. Uh, when I get done after a ride, I put my tent together. Then I go into this bag, which is all my evening wear. And the reason it's all in one bag is because I wear some of the, sometimes I wear the same thing more than once. Um, there's no need to have seven or eight evening outfits because you're only gonna be wearing it for a couple hours anyway. I have my sleepwear, which again, you know, you get back to your tent at night. Uh, you don't wanna be rummaging through all these clothes. So I have it all in a bag. And then uh, cold weather gear, which again, this bag may be bigger or smaller depending on what the weather's gonna be like. But you just never know when you'll need a long sleeve shirt, a sweatshirt, I do have some pants in here, and then some warmer socks. So that's kind of a, um, you might need it, you might not. So there's that for you. And then I mentioned before, uh, the rest of my uh, gear, like vitamins, uh, sunscreen, makeup, anything else, uh, hair ties, that you'll need throughout the week all goes in one space here. So, and then over in my side compartment, I've got my sandals that I'll wear in the evening. Um, I also will have my tennis shoes that I wore when I was going out to RAGBRAI. So you have two extra pairs of shoes. And then I've got uh, electronic stuff, um, pretty much anything you need to uh, charge, whether it be your tail light, your headlights, 
Um, I carry a portable charger. This is actually uh, something that will charge in the sun. So it's kind of nice solar powered. And then again, if you don't have electricity at some point in your day, you can charge up your phone at night in your tent. So I've got all that in one place. Um, you may be like me and you have snack emergencies at some point. And based on your snack emergencies, this may be more full or less full. And maybe you don't have snack, snack emergencies. Sometimes I do. Heart! And then this is very important. This is uh, things that you may need to go to the porta potty. So you never know when you may need that. So I've got that in here too. And then to end, we have um, this, these may go on my bike at some point. Uh, this is a rain jacket, which I also will double and use it as a warm jacket if you need it. So there's that. And then this is called a shrug. It's, it's pretty tiny. It just kind of covers up your arms. And then the only other thing I have is uh, plenty of extra plastic bags because you just never know when you're going to need that. And then, of course, uh, this bag has my RAGBRAI credentials. Obviously, on RAGBRAI, I'll be wearing these bands, um, and I'll have my maps, but I have that in here now so I don't forget it. So in a nutshell, that's everything, and you're not going to believe it, but this bag ended up being about 35 pounds, and uh, RAGBRAI restricts you to 50 pounds. And I'm telling you, if this was 50 pounds, I probably wouldn't be able to carry it from the trailer to my tent site. So hopefully this was helpful for you.